a good morning student a welcome all so in this session uh, we are going to discuss uh, different uh, uh, linux text editors so li linux text editors also called uh, uh, linux uh, editors so we can also uh, say that uh, linux editors is a uh, same like as a linux text editors so here uh, first of all i will tell you about uh, what is editors basically in simple uh, line or a simple definition so linux text editors can be used for uh, editing uh, your text files your writing codes your updating user instruction files and more many more okay i again i repeat so linux text editors can be used for editing your text files writing codes updating user instruction files fine okay so uh, a Linux system uh, supports uh, multiple text editors. So different Linux editors, uh, sorry, uh, different uh, Linux operating system supports uh, different uh, Linux uh, text editors. So uh, there are basically there are two uh, uh, types of uh, text editors in Linux uh, operating system, which are uh, given below. In simple words, uh, you can say uh, categorized into two forms. Okay, so Linux uh, text editors categorized into two forms first is your command line text editors first is your command line text editor second is your gui text editor again i repeat first is your command line text editor second is your gui text editor so uh, in command line text editor there are so many editors and in your gui text editor there are so many editors so command line text editor such as your vi editor nano editor pico editor and many more again again i repeat why we use it editors editors basically can be used for editing text files in linux operating system also writing codes updating user instruction files in your linux operating system basically there are two types of text editors there, uh, that is your command line text editor in command line text editor there are so many editors second is your gui text editor in gui text editor there are so many uh, text editor like your g edit genome k write and many more okay fine so uh, a text editor plays an important uh, role while code coding when you uh, type any coding so text editor plays an important role while coding so it is important to select the best text editor so my favorite text editor is uh, uh, like a vi editor so and a nano editor so both are my favorite editors in the linux operating system okay fine so let's uh, start So uh, structure of the chapter is uh, like editors. There are so many editors we will discuss in this uh, lecture. So uh, on your screen, uh, these are your uh, different editors we will discuss uh, today. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, Joy editor. Second is your VI or Vim editor. Third is your Emacs editor. Fourth, Nano editor. G edit editor. Sublime text editor pico editor vs code editor atom editor brackets editor bluefish editor kate or you can say k write editor notepad plus plus editor eclipse editor leaf pad editor so these are our different types of editors available in linux operating system Okay, so if you uh, use a uh, uh, Red Hat Linux operating system, so you can uh, use any uh, editor like Joy Editor, Nano Editor, G Edit Editor. So as per uh, our requirement, we can choose any of these editor. Okay, but my favorite editor is a VI Editor and Nano Editor. So this one, VI Editor and Nano Editor. Fine. So in this section. Uh, 
uh, we are going to discuss uh, uh, like a uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen uh, different uh, editors. So further, we will talk about the uh, latest text editors and uh, we'll compare them with the traditional uh, text editors like VI and Nano because VI and Nano my favorite editor. Fine. Okay. So uh, basically this will help you with the selecting the editor of your choice. Fine. So uh, next slide, you see the, uh, what is the objective of uh, this uh, uh, lecture or uh, what is the objective of uh, this uh, uh, PPT uh, or you can say topic. So the objective of this chapter is to familiarize the student with the like different Linux editors and their feature. It's okay to all of you. Fine. So first of all, introduction about uh, uh, editors. So this chapter uh, puts uh, uh, some light on uh, different types of text, text editors, such as your VI, your Joy, your Emacs, your Pico, etc. So that are used in Linux are discussed uh, uh, with their features. Fine. Editors. So basically, there are many editors in Linux operating system. Some of these are GUI. So GUI stands for graphical user interface. Based and others are terminal based. Okay. So following discussion, uh, you can say is related to the uh, VI, Emacs and uh, Joy and Pico editors, uh, uh, which vary in uh, uh, features uh, and uh, you can say uh, environment. Okay. So first of all, VI editors. So basically, uh, you can also say that VI or VIM editor. Okay, so Vim editor uh, is one of the uh, most used and uh, powerful command line based editor. This is not a, a GUI editor. First of all, this is not graphical user interface. This is basically uh, command line based editor. So means CLI or CUI. So CLI stands for command line interface and CUI command user interface. So a uh, Vim editor on your screen uh, is basically a most used and powerful command line ba based editor of the Linux system. So by default, uh, it is uh, supported by most uh, Linux uh, distros. So distros me your uh, Linux family. Okay. So it has enhanced functionality of the old Unix VI uh, editor. Okay. Again, I repeat, it has enhanced functionalities of the old Unix VI editor. It's okay. So VI editor is a default editor that comes with the Linux operating system. Using VI editor, you can create or edit text. So it is a, you can say user friendly also. Okay. And user friendly editor and provides the same environment for all the Linux distros. It's okay. So a uh, VI editor or Vim editor is a case sensitive editor. So one must uh, be careful while entering any text or command. So basically this is a case sensitive editor. So uh, it is also termed as a programmer editor also because most programmer prefer VI editor. So that's why my, uh, my favorite uh, editor is VI editor because it's very simple and easy to use uh, and a case sensitive and uh, you can say most uh, uh, powerful and easy so uh, so many uh, functions available in a vi editor so vi editor has some special features uh, uh, such as vi modes like and syntax highlighting that makes it powerful uh, so uh, then other text editors okay so generally it has two modes generally it has two modes a uh, VA, I'm right now. I'm talking about VA editor. Okay. Generally, it has two mode. First mode is your MOD. First mode is your command mode. I, I repeat command mode. Second is your insert mode. Okay. So, uh, what is a command mode and what is a insert mode basically? So, command mode allows us to perform actions on files. Understand? The command mode allows us to, the command mode 
allows us to perform actions on files. Actions on files. By default, it starts in uh, command mode. When you when you open a, a VI editor through uh, terminal, when you type a VI uh, your file name like uh, ABC and then press you uh, enter. So uh, by default, uh, it starts in a command mode. Okay, in this mode, uh, all types of words are considered as commands. Understand? So we can execute uh, execute uh, commands in this mode. We can execute commands in this mode. So second mode is a uh, uh, insert mode in a VI editor. So first mode is your command mode in a VI editor, and second mode is your insert mode in a VI editor. So what is the insert mode? The insert mode allows to insert text on files. Understand? Again, I repeat. The second mode, insert mode, allows to insert text on files. To switch from command mode to insert mode, press the escape key. When you press escape key from your keyboard to exit from active mode. Okay. And I key. When you press I key, uh, press, when you press the escape key to exit from active mode and I key. Okay. So, to uh, like, uh, for example, to uh, invoke the VI editor, execute the VI command with the file name uh, like VI Mohit. Okay. And then press enter. So, You can uh, you can uh, enter in the next terminal. Fine. So these are your two modes of uh, VI editor: command mode and insert mode. Okay. So this is a default mode. Like for example, VI opens uh, uh, with the command mode. So in this mode, it takes anything as command and it's usually used to perform operation editing or like with the files such as save file to move a cursor, cut copy paste of lines or words, find replace, etc. So uh, to enter into command mode, um, command mode from anywhere, you may press escape key uh, rep repeatedly. Fine. So next is your insert mode. Again, in this mode, everything is considered simple text, which is to be entered in the file. So to enter in insert mode, you have to press small i from your keyboard and to exit from the insert mode, you have to press again escape key from your keyboard to uh, quit from terminal. Understand? So basically these uh, are your uh, command mode and insert mode in your VI editor basically. Understand? Next. To open VI editor, type VI in your in your terminal. Okay, so it will open with the command mode, and if uh, file name is also mentioned along with the uh, VI, so like uh, uh, if if you are in a normal user, if you are in root user, so just type uh, VI and your file name. File name is your like. Uh, ABC, XYZ, and so on. So it, it will open the existing file in the VI editor. Understand? So uh, to exit, if you want to exit, so press colon or Q. I repeat, if you want to exit from uh, your uh, editor, not terminal, if you want to uh, edit from uh, editor, so type colon Q and save. And save, uh, you want to type uh, uh, you have to type, not you want to, you have to type colon W to uh, save changes in the file size. Okay. ZZ or colon WQ. Understand? Again, I repeat, if you want to exit from your uh, editor, press colon Q from your keyboard. If you want to save your uh, changes uh, content in the file, you have to uh, press colon W from your keyboard. Understand? To exit without saving changes. If you want to exit without saving changes. So you, 
यू हैव टू प्रेस कॉलन स्मॉल क्यू और स्मॉल क्यू एक्सप्लेनेशन अंडरस्टैंड टू सेव द फाइल विद डिफरेंट नेम यू मे यूज कॉलन डब्ल्यू न्यू अंडर स्कोर फाइल नेम सो दिस इज योर सिंपल स्टेप्स to how to open a editor how to save a file how to change content in your file through shortcuts uh through keyboard okay so uh, the commands associated with the vi editor are uh, uh, described in the tables below uh, if you want to movement within a file so uh, for example uh, your uh, Uh, text uh, file available in your uh, editor or in your linux operating system so if you want to movement within a file uh, so these are the your uh, commands on the left side and the this is your description on the right side for example k stands for uh, k command if you if you press k from keyboard when you uh, use uh, any editor like p code editor so uh, vi editor right now i am talking about vi or vim editor so these commands are basically for used for movement within a file understand so k uh, when you press k from your keyboard it stands for uh, moves the cursor up on one line moves the cursor up one line understand so command command second j so move the cursor down one line okay so h command moves the cursor to the left one character position very important when you press h mo moves the cursor to the left one character position okay so when you press i moves the cursor to the right one character position okay so dollar w b brackets e curly brackets and uh, square brackets 1g g n g so these are basically move uh, some commands movement within a file like if you uh, talking about like a curly braces uh, move a paragraph back this is your backward backslash okay your uh, curly braces you know okay so this is your g move to the last line of the file and uh, if, Uh, m stands for move to middle of the screen understand so a colon x so colon followed by a number would uh, position the cursor on line number represented by x m move to middle of screen colon n move to n nth line of the file so these are the shortcuts of uh, a uh, movement within a file understand okay so uh, on the other side if you uh, control the commands okay so uh, the commands associated with the vi editor are uh, described in the tables below like uh, control plus d control plus d stands for move forward one slash two screen so control plus when you press control plus f from your keyboard so it move forward one full screen okay so if you press control plus u so it move backward one slash two screen control plus b move backward one full screen control plus e moves the screen up one line so control plus y moves screen down one line control plus i redraw screen so basically these commands are used for control commands so next is your editing files if you want to edit your particular file so you have to press i so i stands for uh, insert text before current cursor location okay l insert text at beginning of current line small a insert text after current cur cursor location understand so basically these are your shortcuts and these are your uh, you can uh, shortcuts to uh, shortcut to insert your text your your uh, 
um, changes you create create a new line insert text in after current before current look at cell location capital a insert text at end of a current line small o creates a new line for text entry below cursor location caps o creates a new line for text entry above cursor location okay so if you want to uh, delete a character if you want to delete character from uh, your uh, particular file like your uh, uh, small x for example when you press for uh, small x so it deletes the character under the cursor location understand so it deletes the character under the cursor location so uh, small uh, small uh, x or uh, caps x on uh, deletes the uh, characters before the cursor location so dw stands for deletes from the current cursor location to the next word understand so here these are the commands of uh, copy and paste uh, uh, command so yy stands for copies the current line if you want to uh, copy the current line so you have to press double y from your keyboard understand so if your uh, uh, copies the word from a uh, character the uh, lower case w cursor is on uh, until the end of the word you have to press y w from your keyboard okay so if you uh, want to put the uh, copied text after the cursor you have to uh, type a small p from your keyboard so if you want to put the yank text before the cursor you have to press press large p from your keyboard so basically these are all about your uh, control commands <clears throat> editing commands <coughs> deleting characters copy and paste so the basically these are your uh, advanced com uh, commands j less than less than greater than greater than tilde u capital u j colon n colon p colon n colon n stands for in case you open multiple files uh, using a uh, vi editor so uh, basically uh, this is a uh, use for if you want to uh, open multiple files uh, when you use uh, your uh, uh, editor okay so if you want to go to previous uh, slide or you can go to previous uh, terminal you have to press uh, colon n from your keyboard understand so uh, if you uh, write to uh, write a file name on your your fi particular file name you have to press colon w file name understand so j stands for your uh, join the current line with the next one account joins then many lines so basically these uh, uh, these are your uh, uh, shortcuts advanced commands deleting characters copy and paste command control commands editing files okay so uh, here you uh, i'm telling you about uh, your nano editor first so because nano editor is my favorite editor so that's why uh, i'm going to tell about your nano editor here you see nano editor this one nano editor so nano editor uh, basically uh, stayed forward editor stayed forward editor so it is designed for the uh, both beginners and uh, advanced user okay so basically it is designed for the both ad beginners and advanced user so it has many uh, customization features okay some uh, you can say advanced features of a uh, nano text editors are uh, uh, as following like uh, it has a highly uh, customizable key bindings uh, so uh, basically some advanced features of uh, nano text editors are like uh, uh, it has a uh, highly customizable key key bindings it supports uh, uh, like you can say a uh, syntax highlighting uh, it has a uh, uh, undo and redo options also uh, it provides a full line display on the standard output and uh, it has pager support to read from standard input okay so if you want to uh, open a, uh, a file with the nano editor execute the command like uh, nano for for example first of all uh, open terminal and uh, 
type sudo su command as per every requirement and type your nano and your file name space file name for example nano space abc when you press enter the uh, nano uh, editor open in your next dialog box so in nano editor the useful options uh, are given uh, uh, at the bottom like uh, 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 like a get help, uh, write out, uh, read file, where is replace, cut text, uncut text, justify to spell, so on. Okay, use the uh, control plus options to perform an op operation. So if you want to uh, uh, use uh, below options uh, when, you, when your uh, uh, nano editor opens, so control plus options to perform an operations. Understand? So this is all about your VI editors, command mode, insert mode, and your uh, open process editor, movement within file, control commands, editing files, deleting characters, copy and paste commands, advanced commands. Next is your joy, like joy or Joe. So uh, joy is own editor. So basically very powerful editor joy. Okay, I'm going to uh, spell like uh, joy. Okay, so the joy uh, uh, editor, which was created by Joseph Allen in 1988, so is a powerful terminal based screen editor distributed under GNU project. Okay, so journal public license. Okay, this is your next uh, editor. So various types of editors like vi editor nano editor my both favorite both are my favorite um, uh, this is not my favorite uh, frankly speaking okay so uh, joy editor uh, like is, it, it does not have modes like uh, uh, vi editor okay so uh, you just ha have to open the editor and start entering the text to the file but for editing, you have to use key combinations. Okay. So that's why it's, it's not my favorite. Okay. Because there are a lot of uh, key combinations. Okay. Especially in conjun uh, conjunction with the CTR, control plus K and escape keys. So Joy uh, has inbuilt help facilities, which is uh, also uh, always available on its screen. So its key combination are similar to other editors like uh, uh, Turbo C, WordStar, and it has many features of Emacs editor, okay? So it is uh, written in the C language, okay? So it has a, a configuration file uh, like a JOERC, so which can be modified to customize the environment of uh, Joy. So it has features to colorize the programming language reserve words, okay? So to open a file in the joy editor, use joy, for example, same, for example, abc dot text, it will open same file for editing in joy. Okay. So you have to type like a joy mohit dot text. So it will open mohit file for editing in joy. So joy mohit dot text, for example, mohit dot text, it will open uh, like Mohit and Mohit files for editing. Understand? Basically, this is all about your Joy editor. So uh, there are a lot of uh, features of uh, Joy editor. So Joy basically full support to mouse and uh, scroll wheel to perform tasks such as scrolling selection. But in the case of uh, uh, VI editor or Vim editor, this is not possible. Okay. But this is a, you can say this is not a user friendly actually. VA or VM uh, editor is a user friendly actually. So status bar is showing a, a contextual information, okay, in a Joy editor. So it supports around 40 programming languages and highlights language uh, uh, syntax. So content, context based on line help. Opening uh, multiple windows on the opened window. Okay, search and replace text feature also available in Joy Editor. Understand? So these are the commands in Joy Editor. So exit, 
command, file command, window command. So here you can see these are your command shortcuts. So if you press, so these are the, you can see here, this is the combination of uh, uh, control plus K plus X. So uh, it's a uh, difficult to uh, remember, it's uh, difficult to learn. So that's why it's not a, uh, uh, not a familiar and it's not a user friendly for users. So control plus K plus uh, X to save and quit. I think it's a uh, quite difficult for us. Okay. Control plus K plus D to save the file. Control plus K plus R to insert uh, your uh, uh, file. Okay. Control plus K plus O to split windows into two uh, portions. Okay. Control plus K plus N, control plus C to close window, control plus K plus Z to increase the size of window. Okay. Control plus K plus T to decrease the size of window. So these are the uh, uh, key combination and the shortcuts to exit the file, to uh, save the file, to insert the file, to open the file. Uh, to split windows, to switch to top window, to switch to bottom window, to close window, to increase the size of window, to decrease the size of window. So these are the basic shortcuts uh, of uh, Joy Editor. Understand? If you want to move in uh, the files in indentation, uh, margins, uh, you can say justification, uh, deletion, finds so here, these are the shortcuts of... Uh, uh, commands uh, in joy editors. So control plus T uh, plus L to set left margin. If you if you uh, press control plus T plus L. So if you press control plus K plus J, control plus K plus J to position a line in the justified. Okay. So if you press control plus underscore for this is for to undo uh, undo and at control plus six uh, for your to redo. Okay, so these are the uh, key combination uh, you have to learn and you have to remember all time when you use Joy Editor. Okay, if you want to find to search forward or backward in a file, so you have to press Control plus K plus F, Control plus L to repeat the previous search. Okay, so next is your next editor is your Emacs editor. So uh, Emacs editor. Uh, very powerful editor, very useful editor. Uh, not again, not my favorite editor, uh, but it's okay. So Emacs uh, editor is a screen editor which is uh, written by uh, Richard uh, Richard Stahl, Stahlman in 1976. So it is uh, written in Lisp language. Okay, Lisp and C language. So it is suitable for programming languages like Java, C, Python, etc. So Emacs editor. So Emacs editor is a highly customizable, features rich editor. Okay. And uh, with the extensive set of uh, commands uh, than any other editors like Joy and VI, etc. So it is extensible in the sense that. Uh, uh, new commands can be created using Lisp language. So unlike VI editor, Emacs lets you edit multiple files at the same time. So this is the uh, main feature of uh, your uh, Emacs uh, editor. So in your Emacs editor, uh, we can uh, edit multiple files at, at a time. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, screen of uh, Emacs editor. This is the you can say a uh, terminal or editor of a uh, welcome screen of uh, Emacs editor. Okay. So these are uh, shortcuts of uh, saving and uh, quitting and moving cut copy and paste search. So if you uh, want to move one word, one word backward, you have to press uh, capital M plus small b from your keyboard. So if you want to cut and copy the text, so if you want to cut the text, you have to press C plus W from your keyboard. So if you want to uh, save the file, you have to press uh, C plus X or you can say 
uh, C plus S from uh, your keyboard to save the file. So these are the shortcuts uh, of uh, Emacs editor in Linux operating system. Okay. So next uh, editor is your uh, Pico editor, which is a uh, very uh, powerful uh, and uh, popular nowadays, Pico editor. Okay. So Pico uh, editor is your Pine composer is a very simple and easy to use the text editor of Linux operating system. Understand? For beginners. So it can be determined from the uh, from this as uh, if uh, it offers a very basic set of features and commands. Okay. So uh, it can be uh, determined from this as uh, it offers very basic set of features and commands. So Pix, uh, uh, Pico uh, looks like a notepad editor uh, in your uh, Windows operating system. So when you open a Windows operating system, uh, when you search a uh, notepad, it look like this. Okay. So uh, Pico looks like notepad editor of Windows operating system. To open Pico in Linux, you have to uh, open a uh, uh, from terminal, uh, you have to type Pico to open the editor. Uh, Pico, for, for example, Simran to open the, the Simran file in Pico. Okay. For example, Pico uh, like uh, ABC uh, to open the uh, to open the ABC file in Pico. Understand? So this is a all about your Pico editor. So these are the shortcuts of a Pico editor. Like if you want to uh, move to the previous line, you have to press the control plus P. Okay. If you want to, uh, to uh, undo, you have to press control plus U and the control plus G or F1 to display help. Control plus I to insert tab to cursor position. Control plus X to save and quit. Control plus O to save the file. So these are the shortcuts of uh, Pico Editor. Okay. So uh, here you see. These are the uh, Joy Editor VI. Emacs Nano. Uh, now I'm going to uh, tell you by uh, tell about G G Edit Editor basically. So uh, in uh, G I G Edit Editor, so G Edit Editor is the uh, default editor for the G norm uh, desktop environment. So when we open a file, uh, it will open with the G Edit Editor. Uh, understand? So it provides a uh, uh, state forward uh, functionalities like any basic te text editor. So you can say it is a lightweight editor with a state forward uh, user interface. Okay. Uh, it was uh, publicly released in the year 2000 with the GNOME desktop environment. Okay. G edit, G edit editor. Okay. So uh, a lot of uh, features of a G editor text editor. This is a, a little bit uh, uh, easy and uh, uh, user friendly, uh, but uh, uh, not uh, so much complex. It uh, various features like it provides syntax highlighting, like it supports uh, uh, internationalized text and it supports several programming languages. Okay. <coughs> so next is your uh, sublime text editor. Next is your sublime text editor. So sublime text editor is also, uh, you can say one of the most popular ID based text editor. So it is used as a development uh, environmental tool for the uh, then a text editor. Like it has several features to support uh, uh, many programming and uh, markup languages like, okay. So further it will, uh, it uh, supports uh, numerous uh, plugins to make it more than a uh, text editor so uh, okay fine uh, sublime text editor is one of the most popular id based text editor okay oh, also uh, there are some features of uh, sublime text editor like uh, it has an excellent command palette okay it is a python based plugin api it supports a parallel editing of code fine so next 
uh, our Pico editor is done. Uh, and the next is your VS Code editor. So uh, a VS Code editor uh, basically uh, is a modern and uh, you can say uh, widely used text editor. Okay, so it is you. Uh, it is built by Microsoft. VS Code built by Microsoft company and has support for uh, Linux, Mac operating system, and Windows operating system also. Understand. So it facilitates with the many powerful features to support many, uh, you can say programming languages and markup languages. Okay. Uh, to, uh, to install the VS code, you have to download the binary package uh, from a uh, uh, website. Uh, if you, uh, uh, you have to uh, type like a, a sudo app to install uh, your file uh, and uh, dot uh, deb. So this is your uh, command for install the uh, VS code editor. Okay. So all, there are also, there are many features uh, available uh, in a uh, VS code uh, editor, like uh, uh, it uh, facilitates with the uh, uh, intelligence and uh, you can say it supports uh, uh, like it provides a built in terminal. It has a full support for debugging with an interactive console breakpoints, etc. Okay. So this is all about your uh, VS code editor. Next is your Atom Editor. This is. Atom Editor is your like, uh, 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 first of all, it is a free. Okay. Atom Editor is a free and open source co code editor developed by uh, GitHub Incorporation. G-I-T-H-U-B. GitHub. So it is a, a cross platform and supports several programming languages. So it is also referred uh, as a uh, hackable uh, text editor uh, for the 21st century. Okay, so basically uh, it is it is was developed for development purpose. Okay, so basically it is uh, completely customizable using web technologies such as JavaScript and your uh, HTML. So here uh, some key features of uh, Atom editor is a, uh, first is uh, you can say it is a, like a, uh, it is an open source editor. It is a, a modern editor. It is a customizable editor and it provides embedded uh, gits uh, GIT support. It uh, uh, you can say another feature uh, like uh, uh, you can say it has smart smart auto complete and intelligence also. OK, so this is uh, your uh, Atom uh, editor. So next is your brackets editor, basically. So uh, brackets editor uh, uh, is your, uh, uh, is uh, obviously it is also a free editor and open source uh, uh, text editor developed by Adobe, developed by Adobe. So it primarily focuses on web development. So brackets, so brackets editor is basically uh, used for uh, main focus on uh, your uh, uh, web development. So it provides a rich code editing experience with uh, uh, several uh, free extensions like uh, HTML, uh, like uh, uh, CSS and uh, your uh, JS. So here are uh, some uh, uh, key features of uh, brackets editors like uh, it provides an interactive user interface. So back, uh, one of the uh, best and uh, you can say um, uh, best user interface uh, uh, provides. Uh, okay. So it has a preprocessor support for uh, SCSS and uh, less. So it facilitates with the inline editors. Uh, it has PHP support. Okay. So next is your uh, Bluefish editor. A Bluefish editor uh, also is a free editor and uh, uh, open source text editor for the Linux system. So it is an advanced text editor having a plenty of tools for programming. Okay, uh, so it is good for developing uh, dynamic websites also. It is a lightweight and fast. Okay, and uh, it facilities uh, facilitated with the spell checker also. So these are the features of a Bluefish also. Okay. Uh, next is your uh, Kate, like K write. So Kate is an advanced and multi-document editor, multi-document editor. 
so it is a part of kde okay since release version 2.2 2.3 okay so uh, not ubuntu the kubuntu k the kubuntu a desktop uh, environment shapes uh, it is uh, it has a default editor okay so some of the unique features of uh, kate uh, or uh, you can say k write includes like it is a, a powerful ide it is provide support for many languages